If you have a really small backyard and still want to hit golf shots there, you might want to check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this. Skills! This guy's got mad skills! And I've got a mad skills swing trainer right here. This is the Pure Path Instant Feedback. It's kind of one of these things where I think the unique value of this, you know, putting something like this in your backyard to try it out, to hit golf balls, is the fact that what you're doing is you're actually hitting something with full swing. You can get foam golf balls and training balls and wiffle balls, but you're not really replicating the mass of the ball. And so you're not really bracing yourself for the impact that you will feel when you're swinging a real golf club on a real golf ball. And I thought this might actually be a little bit better. So I'm kind of curious because, you know, I've read some mixed reviews on these. And so I'm going to try it out and give you my honest thoughts about it. And one of the issues here is durability. The other thing is, is this really like hitting a real golf ball? So we actually get two pieces here. This part goes into the ground. You can see we have two long spikes about five inches long on either side. Then we have this um, middle spike and has a little cap on the bottom which you're gonna have to take off and then you have to push this thing in so i assume maybe you can just stand on this but if you have like a rubber sledgehammer or something like that you might want to have that handy so that you can drill this into the ground you know soft ground is probably going to be your friend on this but you can see how they've crimped the end here to kind of create a little bit of like a star like needle to go in there so hopefully that will go in and then you can see we have holes up here and then looks like a bolt that's welded in there because this piece will go up here so this will go perpendicular to this and you can see we have a little uh, detent that gets pressed in there so my assumption is it'll go on this side and you will kind of push this in just like this and then you can adjust the height here and that's going to allow you depending on how tall your grass is uh, to adjust the ball height now one of the cool things about this is that you don't have to tee anything up then it's kind of my guess see the arm here and then we have a plastic pivot point at the top here you have this nylon rope that goes around and then you have a ball attached on the nylon rope this looks like it's going to keep the rope steady when it starts swinging around as opposed to just kind of looping around and getting tied up and a couple things that I've heard about this is that it's not that durable after a few hits sometimes people say the ball will break or come off sometimes this will come loose so I'm kind of curious to see how well this holds together after hitting it like a big boy like I do. Um, the other thing that, about this ball is that it does have some weight. I would say it does not feel as heavy as a regular golf ball, but it's certainly heavier than say the foam balls that I'll sometimes hit or those wiffle balls for sure. But it's 60 or 70% as heavy as a real golf ball, but it does have dimples. And what's gonna happen here is that when you put this in and now when you hit this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna spin all the way around. And why that's good is that it can kind of give you some feedback. So let's say it spins straight up and down like that. That's a good hit, right? But if your club face is a little open and it pushes it out to this side, what you're going to do is you're going to see it spinning kind of right. And that's going to say, hey, that's a slice. And vice versa, you can see if it's uh, hooking here. So one, based on how fast it's spinning, you can see how well you hit it. But then also the angle that it is spinning will tell you whether you've pushed or pulled it. So let's try it out and see how it works. So first of all, let me talk about durability. I know a lot of people have complained that this thing breaks pretty quickly. Now I hit this pretty much, you know, sporadically throughout the afternoon. I probably have about uh, 30 or 40 total minutes on it and I didn't have any problems with durability yet. Now I will say that, you know, because the pieces are plastic, because they're nylon, depending on how hard you swing, you may actually see that, you know, things fray a little bit quicker, but I didn't have any of those problems today. And part of that might be that I'm not, uh, a strong enough swinger to put enough stress on it. Now, the other thing I will say is that it did spin. And one of the things that I like about it is the feel of the golf ball. It actually has a pretty distinct click when you hit it. And it feels a little bit like there is some resistance there. So it's kind of like hitting a very low compression golf ball, which I kind of like. It definitely feels better than hitting some of those wiffle balls or the foam balls in the backyard. And on top of that, you're not chasing those down because even if you have a pretty large backyard, those foam balls can definitely fly 30, 40, 50 yards.
And so it can definitely be kind of a pain to go chase those down, especially with wind and things like that that really move them around. They can get scattered pretty easily. And you probably will find any ones that you miss with your lawnmower later. So it's kind of nice nest just to be able to reload, keep hitting, work on your swing without having to reset up, get balls, those kinds of things. Now, one of my complaints here is that the ball is supposed to spin on that fulcrum and you're supposed to kind of see it spinning left or right or straight. Now, one of the things I will say is that I just don't think it spins very long. What I notice is that even after hitting it and then lifting up my head and then turning to look back down on the ball really quickly it was already kind of done spinning it was kind of flopping around and uh, kind of settling back in so it wasn't continually spinning for two or three or four or five seconds so that I could look down and see what the angle is and when you're right over it it's not really that easy to see so I don't know that you're going to get a lot of feedback on draws or slices you know hooks fades those kinds of things I think it's really more for tempo and just having a consistent ball there to hit and without having to reset up so that you can kind of work on your form and make some of those little adjustments but I do like the fact that you actually hit it and it reloads right away the other negative about this is that because the ball just hangs on the end of a nylon rope there, it actually takes a little while for it to settle back into a stable position to re-hit it. Especially if you're hitting it in a windy situation, it's going to kind of wobble around a little bit, which is not as nice as a ball that's sitting on the tee and not being affected by wind. And so even though I'm not getting maybe that swing pattern to know where I'm hitting the ball, unfortunately the trade-off is also that it's not settling back down into a hittable position right away. There were a lot of times that I was using the club to kind of help stabilize the ball to get it to stop swinging much and even still it was still moving around a little bit when I would take my next swing so uh, that's kind of something that is a little frustrating too if you're really concerned about where you're hitting it on the club face if it's moving around a centimeter or two you know and you hit it and you're using you know impact tape or something like that to really see where on the club face you're hitting it then it might not be super accurate there but I will say overall it's just nice to be able to can actually hit a ball in your backyard without having to set up a net without having to chase down little practice balls and so from that standpoint i think it can be really really valuable and it's very inexpensive so if you want to pick it up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter Ron panda out <laughs>